People who follow me know I live in Guangdong. In every measurable metric, I've seen improvements. Some are easily measured, but others aren't as obvious unless you happen to know something about the region. If you happen to be a bear or a leopard, you have a good chance of making your home in Guangdong too. Surprisingly, this is now true of the province. When I arrived here in 2004, I remember every evening as I finished work, I would travel home along an east to west route and the most beautiful sunset, the irony of the beautiful varying shades of orange glowing in the distance was that it was caused by pollution. It was a pollution that showed up on the collars of my work shirts. It could be tasted in the air we breathed and my colleagues kept apologizing me for the weather being so overcast. Around 2013, that started to change. And as Bloomberg pointed out, China's reduction in pollution in the seven years to 2020 was greater than the US had achieved in three decades. But it didn't stop there. China accounts for just 6.3% of the world's land mass, more than 25% of the world's reforestation. There's always detractors saying such things as China still has deserts or China planted the wrong trees. But as the Rapid Transition Alliance, an international organization, has made clear in their report called How China Brought Its Forest Back to Life in a Decade, the benefits far outweigh any mistakes that may have been made. When we think of Guangdong, we think of a work site, factories, dirt and pollution. And that was quite true a few years ago. But now there's an entirely different story. The region is the manufacturing capital of the world. With that in mind, you might not expect it to be too concerned about the environment, air or water quality, but you'd be wrong. It's not letting the rest of China get ahead. There are 13 important wetlands in Guangdong alone. In 2004, it was reported that Guangdong's mangrove forests were on the verge of extinction. In recent years, the region has been praised for the preservation, protection and growth of these vital regions. Unbelievably, we have crystal clear waters are found throughout the province. What this does is helps revitalize unseen parts of the economy, helping the residents we don't usually see, the wildlife such as the bears in the Nanling Nature Reserve or the leopards that surprisingly live in Shenzhen and the migratory birds flocking in massive numbers into the wetlands. None of this would be possible without a good policy, a desire to improve and a commitment such as Guangdong is making to improving life for all its residents, whether they be winged, furry or four-footed.